The family business was shops at retail. We had green grocery businesses, florists, fishmongers, uh, all throughout the West Midlands in the UK. The business had been going for a um, hundred years uh, since the mid 1850s with potato merchants and the business had grown and grown and grown. The photograph you will see in a second or two was taken in 1908. It has my name, D. Holland, above the shop. My great grandfather is in the middle and my grandfather is over his shoulder. So my uh, expectations were that as a kid, I'd inherit the business as my father did from his father. I'd move into the family business. That was just logical. What was going to happen? However, in 1977, exactly on the 3rd of May 1977, Carrefour uh, opened up a hypermarket just around the corner from one of our flagship stores, as my dad used to call it, in, uh, in Minworth, just outside Birmingham. And it signed the death knell of the business. We just couldn't compete with what they were doing in terms of slashing prices, in volume purchasing, in terms of the service they could offer. It was just something we couldn't really compete with. So our businesses started to decline from 1977 onwards. They lasted for a while longer, but uh, not long after that, they had to close down and uh, my dad retired. Didn't sustain me. So what I realized was that shouldn't happen to people in business. The little guys deserve a better break than that. The big guys, the car fall bastards of the world, they shouldn't just go and swipe away all the small businesses, the family businesses that are out there. So over time, it made me realize that I had a real burning desire, a passion, a purpose, if you like, to go and help other people in business like my dad. Now, with some help and guidance and support and advice, he may have survived the business. He may have grown and flourished and done something different. I, I, I really don't know. But what drives me in my business is the fear that that could happen, not only to me when I'm a small business as well, but to other people. I'll fight for their business, maybe harder than they'll fight for themselves. I think they deserve a much better outcome. So the reason I do what I do, my why, if you like, is seated in what happened back on the 5th of May, 1977. It's a burning desire to go and help people avoid that, grow, build, develop a business that can be transferred to children or made into a legacy or built and sold, whatever you want to do with it. But certainly people deserve a better outcome, better chance, a better opportunity than maybe my dad had. It's a real shame. So that's why I do what I do. And I think it's a powerful motivator for, for all of us. Um, if that makes sense to you and you'd like to find out what I do, how I deliver these products and services, have a look at our website at resultsforallsok.com. Drop me a message on the video below. Connect, say hello. We'll have a coffee in the chat. And if I can help, well, then that would be great. I'll see you soon.